Today we're going to be talking about order of operations and uh, the use of expressions and terms in, uh, while following the order of operations. So our first, uh, from the textbook, we have number 12 that's asking us to take this expression and draw a diagram that would represent it. So if we were to draw a diagram, uh, like for example, uh, what Cecil is uh, doing on the tightrope, then we would go 3 negative this way, and then the negative 4 times negative 2 cubed is where it gets a little bit uh, confusing. Where are we going this way or this way? Is it how many groups of how many? So that, that's sort of confusing in this case. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at different ways of solving this that might be a little bit easier. All right, so we're going to look at our <coughs> expression a little bit more closely. Let's set up our notes. This is lesson three, one, two. And uh, we're talking about expressions. So number 12 in our book, we have negative 3 plus negative 4. And we have 2 to the third power, or 2 cubed, plus 5. Now, in our most previous lesson, we looked at another way of tackling these expressions, and that's by uh, looking at their terms. And first of all, we see the terms, we remember, are separated by the plus signs. Okay, so we see plus signs right here and right here, and those are not separate, uh, those are not inside parentheses, so those are separating plus signs. So our first term would be 3, and our second term would be all of this right here, and our third term would be the 5. So then all we would need to do is simplify all of these and then just kind of put them together and add in the end. All right, so let's look at our uh, steps. So we have negative 3 plus the negative 4 times 2 cubed. Now, using the order of operations, we would always do the uh, exponents first. So let's do negative 4 times 2 cubed. That means 2 times 2 times 2, 2 to the third power. So that gives us 8. And then we're going to be adding the 5. So that's the only operation that we did in this step. So in our next order of operations, we don't need to do this. We don't need to do anything with the negative 3. Negative 4 times 8 is negative 32. And then we're adding 5 to it. So that gives us our answer. We have negative 35 plus 5, which equals negative 30. So this is how we're going to be tackling these more complicated expressions uh, in this book. So let's look at problem number B. So we have negative 3 squared plus 4. And then we have negative 2 plus 5. All right, so this expression is pretty similar to this one. And just like our, our last lesson, we have the similar, very similar numbers and symbols in this. but in this one, how many terms do we have? Okay, there's the plus sign right there. And so we have one, two terms, one on either side of the plus sign. Our first term is this, and our second term is we circle them. Okay, so this gives us negative 3 squared. That means negative 3 times negative 3. Remember, when we're working with powers, we're just multiplying repeatedly. So this gives us 9 plus 4 times what's in parentheses, that's 4 groups of negative 2 and 5 is 3. And 9 plus 12, which is equal to 21. So even though these expressions have the same numbers, similar operations, similar uh, symbols, they don't have the same value. All right, so we're going to look at one. Uh, a little bit more complicated. Um, in the book, this is number 14. And the expression is 3 
times 5 plus 2 times 4 plus 2 times negative 3. And we're going to first circle the terms. All right, now here is our plus sign. So that gives us three groups of, and then within the order of operations, multiplication always comes before addition. So this would give us 5 plus 8. And we're adding two groups of negative 3, which will give us negative 6. So our plus sign is still separating these two expressions. So we have three groups of 5 plus 8, which is three groups of 13 plus negative 6. And so now we're going to break all these expressions down. Every term, notice the term we're breaking down and simplifying those individually. And this gives us 39 plus negative 6, which is equal to 33. And that's what this expression simplifies down to. All right, so now we're going to look at two um, other expressions that have similar uh, numbers and operations again. This is number 15 in our book. Uh, we're starting with 4 and 1 third plus 2 times 3 and 2 fifths plus 5. All right, so let's start with our um, terms because this is a uh, pretty big expression. We're working with fractions, so fractions should, could be a little bit confusing sometimes if you're not uh, willing to practice with them. So first, here's our plus sign. There's our plus sign. So we have three terms. All right, so the 4 and 1 is going to stay. The 5 is going to stay. This one needs to be simplified a little bit further. So Let's go 4 and 1 third plus 2 groups of 3 and 2 fifths. Well, since I'm only doubling this number, we can go ahead and just find out what that's equal to. And if I'm doubling a mixed number, pretty much means I'm doubling the whole number and I'm doubling the fraction. So that would give me 6. And then I double 2 fifths. That'll give me 4 fifths. So 6 and 4 fifths. And I'm adding the 5. So there are my three terms. I simplified one of them. Okay. Now, when I'm adding my fractions, I know that I need to have a common denominator. And since I'm adding, and all these are positives, sometimes people like to uh, separate the whole numbers and add them separately and the fractions separately. So let's go ahead and, before we add the fractions, let's get a common denominator. So our common denominator is going to be 15. So I have 4 and 1 third, and I want to change them to 15 so 4 and 1 third equals uh, 4 and 5 fifteenths. And then 6 and 4 fifths. I'm going to change 4 fifths to 15 Multiply by 3, multiply by 3. So that's 6 and 12 15 Okay, I could see my giant one times three times three times five times five. Okay, so now these are the new fractions that I'm going to substitute for for these two. So now we have four and five fifteenths plus six and twelve fifteenths plus five. And now again, everything's positive, and I'm adding those positives, so that gives me ten. And then I'm adding the 5 and the 12. I get 10 and 17 fifteenths plus 5. But you can't leave a mixed number like this. We need to know that um, there's a whole number in there. And since 17 fifteenths is equal to 1 and 2 fifteenths, so now I'm going to add the 10 and the 1 and 2 fifteenths. plus 5. And that will give me 11 and 2 fifteenths plus 5. 
So that's 11 plus 5 is 16 and 2 fifteenths. Okay, so all I did here was I added the 10 and the 1 and the 5, and that gives me 16. And then the 2 fifteenths is added to give me my answer. This is the simplified fraction of this big expression here. Okay, so let's look at something uh, similar to this. Um, this is problem B in uh, 15 as well. We have 4 and 1 third plus 2 times 3 and 2 fifths plus 5. Okay, so we can see the similarities between these two, and is our answer going to be the same? We can see our answer is not going to be the same because here we have two groups of 3 and 2 fifths, and here we have two groups of both of these, okay, where there's 1 5, and this is similar to a um, problem that we had in a previous lesson. All right, so let's see what this gives us. This gives us 4 and 1 third plus. So now we have to simplify this term because let's go back and circle our terms and we'll see where this expression has three terms, this expression only has two terms. So that gives us two groups of this. So let me go ahead and figure out what this is. 3 and 2 fifths plus 5 is 8 and 2 fifths. So now that gives me 4 and 1 third plus two groups of 8 and 2 fifths. Now again, I'm going to double this and I'm going to double this. So that gives me 16 and 4 fifths. And again, everything's positive. The fractions, all I need to do is find a common denominator. And again, that is 15. So 1 third is equal to 5 fifteenths. And 4 fifths is equal to 12 fifteenths. So that gives me 4 and 5 fifteenths plus 16 and 12 fifteenths. All right, and what this gets me is 20. And 5 and 12 is 17. And 17 fifteenths. But remember, 17 fifteenths is 1 and 2 fifteenths. So I have 20 plus 1 and 2 fifteenths. So now the 20 and the 1 gives me 21 and 2 fifteenths. So we can see that the grouping of them, where there's two terms here and three terms here, gives me a different answer.